Hey everyone, and welcome back to Doofy Digga Time! You may have noticed we didn't have an episode Wednesday, and that's because Wildermyth came out, and I spent 22.5 hours uh, trying to get the video out on time. That was literally the longest day of work I think I've ever had in my life. Regardless, if you guys haven't seen that series, I highly recommend it. It's a story generator game like RimWorld, but different. A lot different, but amazing. I love it. Also, uh, today's Friday, which means twitch.tv slash xwins will be doing a new RimWorld castle. <laughs> Again, don't ask about the last castles. All that matters is the future, which is now for you guys. Link in the description down below. Anyways, here's the episode for the Doofy Diggers. We should be back to schedule uh, now, so enjoy. Point two days till destination. Still no food, but that's all right. Technically, we all just ate. Boom! Caravan arrived at the item stash. Well, we don't have Kiyosuke right now, but let's charge out and see what we find. I'm assuming some kind of ambush, but that one wasn't too bad. Beautiful! The Great Busteds! Also beautiful berry bushes, so quick food when Kiyosuke comes out of his days. Let's see if we get ambushed now. Uh... Wait, what? We've got to be ambushed, right? Huh. Okay, we're not. So we can set up a little camp here for a smidgy. Let's look at this golden basic dwarven great hammer. 16.03 di- What? 16,580? Ah. Uh, what is um, its current one? 635 for masterwork. Well, <laughs> we're getting rich, boys. Holy, that's insane. And also, we now have the shield, or sheep wool bedroll masterwork. Amazing. And we also have the masterwork royal plated armor. Wow. In it's just absolute insanity. Yeah, I'm going to set up a camp here and hunt everything that's on the map. Hunt these things, chop some wood. It'll take a little while, and it's going to be a little boring, but we'll do that now. Oh, I'm going to go put that hammer to use. Golden Dwarven Hammer. Crash the bunny. Yes, I'm going to crash the rat. You can do it, we believe. Oh. I love this hammer. I'm putting it to use in kind of an embarrassing way, but at the same time, I love it. And there's some persimmons, whatever the heck those are. We can probably... Oh, well, that's our donkey. Never mind. Is that our donkey? Yes, donkey three. Ooh, even a little cave to scout out in the future. Never know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Great busted revenge, boys. Uh, Cinnamon's already killed one. Daredevil's going for the other one. Let's get her up here. Beautiful. Oh, nope. Shoot the, the busted. Boom. Okay, that's not going to work. What's happening over here? Amit is crashing busted. Beautiful. I'm assuming Kiyosuke's going to get wrecked. Meanwhile, this busted, if we move away with Cinnamon, we'll have no problem, I think. Yes, here comes Darcy. Beautiful. Wonder how dangerous these bustards are. Eh, they don't look too bad. And again, I honestly don't know if they're too bad or not. We've lost some lungs and whatnot. Come on, come on. There it is. Stun the busted with the hammer. Wow. Kiyosuke almost got his neck plucked out by a great busted. But Amit has come to the rescue. Kiyosuke, stop getting... It's embarrassing, you dope. What are you doing? Okay, well, I guess Bustard's, you know what? You know, think of how big those birds are. If you're a little dwarf with stubby legs, my God. This must be a heroic day, a heroic and challenging day for you. Ooh, and we even found otters. All right, hopefully those things all don't flip out. Voila, a little bit of boredom, but I'm pretty sure someone's somewhere. Yeah, Kiyosuke has our horseshoe pen. Well, he'll collapse pretty soon, and then we'll take care of him. We're actually getting to the point that Kiyosuke's about to die. He's down to seven hours. 
Wonderful. And as I go out there to save him with cinnamon, she throws a tantrum. So now we have to bring Ahmed out. I hope she doesn't go to break the... Oh, you better not... Uh, cinnamon, are you going to seriously break the masterwork? No, you're going to break the cloth bedroll, but not the masterwork one. There's Kiyosuke. Beautiful. You know what we can actually do is save him right where he is. And he'll tend to him. Fantastic. I'm curious what cinnamon is breaking. Please don't break the med cinnamon. Yep. Oh god, now she's going after the armor. There goes not one, but two bedrolls. There goes our master work. Thanks, cinnamon. Thank you. Yes, they also break. Sure, yes. Just split your DPS amongst everything. Break it all. Break the frigging 10,000 gold sheep thing. Break the sword. Break the armor? Why not? Wonderful. Masterwork, completely worthless armor. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> uh, yeah, Kiyosuke has some serious malnourishment. He's gonna have to be fed of raw... Whatever the heck this thing is. We don't have any choice. No one else can do anything about it. Amit also looks... Wow, did we just feed him the whole bird? Just stuffed it down his stomach? Yeah, thanks, Cinnamon. Thank you. Very much. Very much. Daredevil died from malnutrition. I thought one of them would go save her, but I realize now nobody was going to because she, we didn't have a sleeping spot. I completely forgot about it. Well, boys, our final feudal poodle has met its demise. However, it will live on in our stomachs. Oh my god! Oh, that is throwing a tantrum, and he's broken all the bedrolls. Every single bedroll that I just painstakingly put together. Now it's the middle of the winter, and we have no bedrolls to keep warm at night. <laughs> Freaking! Well, yeah. Okay, maybe I can- this- there's maybe- now I've killed everything on the map too, everything I could see. I see a boom rats here. Wow, these tan- this is just... Such- such a useful- well, hey, we did get the hammer at least, right? So there's that. Armor is no longer having a tantrum. We also dug this thing out like maniacs, but there's really nothing in here. Uh, unfortunately, I tried to look for it. There's really no reason for us to stay here either at this point. Uh, I suppose we can put- um, it's no longer done the tantrum. We can make one more plains leather bedroll. But that is actually the last one we can make, and we can't make patchwork leather, we can't craft anything, so... Maybe I can find more plains leather by killing something? I did see that boom rat, it's possible. Ah! Junkies! Too bad I can't tame. We'll have to hunt them, but that's our solution to bedrolls right there. Ooh, Kiyosuke's going berserk, but more importantly, resistance is down to 6.4. Interesting. I hate to murder all the donkeys, especially when we have a perfectly happy donkey, but... Taming is disabled on everyone, so it's not like we could do anything with him regardless. And this gives us way more planes leather. Fantastic. Exactly what we needed. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay. Now Sisfam is going berserk. <laughs> Uh, we have all three bedrolls, though. Boop, boop, boop. No more reason to be here. We have 13 meals. Those, well, technically we could cook up all these meals. So I guess there's a little bit of reason to be there. Oh, God. Sisfam is really trying to punch Amit right now. Ruse, Dwarven Fist. Sisfam, do you really think you can handle this? I don't think so. Amit will just run away. And we'll be fine. It'll just take some time. If anything, let's try to bait Sisfam away from the animals. Oh, God. Well, we learned our our problem with this before. Make sure we've got sleeping spots. Oh, system just ripped the ear off of Darcy. And is now going for the donkey. 
This is ridiculous. Sisphon as a naked dwarf can literally punch out an Ibex and a donkey simultaneously and a Rottweiler. This is why we're trying to recruit her. Fresh ear ripped off of Darcy or no? This is going to make an incredible dwarf. Look, everyone's just scared. <laughs> They're all scared. Like, oh god, what do we do? Oh, I didn't mean to take that shot. Please tell me it didn't do anything bad. No, it's good. 100% worth it. All right. Sysfim is down to only 3.8. I thought about staying here and getting that down to zero. Uh, however, we've got 30 meals. We're not likely to get more. Now is a great time to get out of here and get on with going to a new world. Reform. Boom. Everyone. Look at all these meals. Fantastic. Wow, we actually got quite a bit of random things here. We'll watch new herbal meds as well. Where to is the question. My god, there's the whole... We were supposed to go from here down to there, and it's like episode... Like, what is this, nine or eight now? We, uh, I suppose... Hmm, I think the arid shrublands are going to be difficult because there's not much animals there to hunt. So we should probably avoid those. This, by the way, just looks like desert regardless, so desert's going to be even worse. So we've got to avoid that. Uh, I suppose let's just go in this general direction. 7.4 days, choose the route, except we'll just go until we're relatively close to out of food. And then we'll see. We 10 days until we get there. Days of food, 5.4. Rotten a little bit. Amit's a little tired. Our only issue is tattered apparel. Not bad. Guess we could come back to this camp and see what's up on the along the way. Ah, an ambush. We done been ambushed, boys, by manhunters. Manhunter what is the question? Well, I suppose we'll find out in a second. Poodles, no! They have heard a mistreatment of Daredevil. They have come seeking retribution. Oh, no. Freaking poodles. We have no melee character. All right, boys, let's go hide behind Amit quickly. Never mind. Never mind. Actually, maybe. Yeah, everybody get behind Amit. Let the don't let the donkey take the poodles. Oh my God, they could actually kill us. He also gonna have to punch the poodles. Now they're punching cinnamon as well. This is not good. We're gonna need. Uh, we're gonna need to split this up so at least cinnamon can shoot. Okay, maybe we can move back. One character shooting. Nice. Darcy's coming in there now. They wrecked that one. Woo! Oh my god, they actually almost tore Kiyosuke in half. Well, they really did try, I will say. Wow, they almost bit Cinnamon's head off! Vicious attack poodles! My god. Quickly bandage and recover. Oh, wait. Actually, Amit won't do anything. Sisfim, how are you doing? Oh, you're perfectly fine. Cinnamon's just got the one wound. She can tend to herself. Self-tend is on. Fantastic. Done. Kiyosuke, self-tend. Beautiful. All right, we'll be fine. Then we'll go take a quick look around for food, and we're out of here. Actually, you know what? Oh, Cinnamon's going to... Re Ooh, attempting to recruit Sisfim, boys! 3.8 to 3.1. Not bad, actually, all things considered. Animals are all looking fine. All right. Delicious poodles. Gonna be so scrumptious. When we get those poodles. Now, let's go look around with Amit. Let's see what we're finding. Maybe there's a little... Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Berries are good. Persimmon trees, also good. Heel root, very good. Ah, boars, very good. And that's about it. Well, we'll set up a few mining orders. We'll select every single heel root on the map. Mine whatever is available. Every single berry on the map. Harvest and every single persimmon on the map. 
Boom. Well, there's actually 20 of those. All right, and we'll harvest those guys as well. We'll do a few little choppy chops over here, and then we'll zoom out of here tomorrow. I don't even know if these things can spine, or spawn metals, rather. Hmm, an item stash quest. What is this now? The Purple Crow Barrow has informed us of $1,670 worth of things. A cherry wood manager. Well, I don't think that's useful. We can't carry it. A silver medieval stool. Can't use that. An ebony classic table masterwork. Ooh. Not that we can carry it. Devil strand, fur, lined, dwarven hat. Good. Wow. What are these things now? Well, they're on our way. I suppose we'll hit it on the way back. Known threat. Manhunting pack of three Rottweilers. All right. Hey, boss. You want some puppy friends? Not that we can tame them, but still. Oh, Sissim's getting angry, boys! He's gonna punch an Ibex! I think we know how this is gonna end. Not well. It'd be really nice if Sissim would just, like, join the colony already, seriously. <laughs> We're almost there. Oh, actually... I forgot that she was a tough brawler. I probably shouldn't have forgot that, but I did, of course. Cinnamon, run away. It's not... No! Now she's punching Darcy. Uh, it just never ends, boys. It just never ends in this colony. Although, Sistan's going to be amazing when she's on our side. Keep that in mind. Assuming she doesn't die at some point from the ridiculous amount of beatings. I don't think she's going to die. She'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Oh, no! Whoa! Game! <sighs> Kiyosuke's had it, boys. He's gonna slaughter the final pups. He just can't ha He's so sick of Sisfin punching animals. He's like, that's it! I'm done with this! No more pups! Oh, God. Oh, God. There's nothing I can really do about it, either. We lo Cinnamon lost a toe to Sisfin over here. But this is, this is the life of the Doofy Dwarfs. Attacking Sisfin. That's the wrong one. Attacking Kiyosuke. Get him on the ground, Cinnamon! Oh. Oh. Darcy has toodled. That was a bond in animal. Cinnamon's not going to be happy about this. We cannot lose our donkey. Um, if you have to come over here and hit Kiyosuke on the head with a hammer, I hereby grant you permission. Oh, God, what's the donkey doing? Whoo! Thank God. Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Don't even worry about this. Everything is fine. Good time. I'm a little unhappy about Cinnamon losing a toe, but eh, dwarves don't need no toes. Now Cinnamon's gone berserk as well because I forced her to patch up Sisfin for 400 hours. She'll be all right, though. There's nothing really to... Maybe she'll punch a rat for us or another boar, actually, which wouldn't be bad in the slightest. I'm sad to have lost our Rottweiler, but we're getting things under control here. <laughs> it takes a lot of death to get things under control in RimWorld, especially when all your guys are doofs. Okay, Cinnamon didn't do anything with that raid. She just wanted to throw a fit to let her... Let me know. She's unhappy with things as they stand. I understand. On a plus note, Amma can actually mine these things out faster. Uh, than anyone else can even chop down trees, gather persimmons, haul things, like you name it. This guy's a champion. By the way, is this not... That's not our Ibex. All right, let's hunt that up for more meals on the road, because why not? We've actually got so many now, I'm a little bit worried about spoilage. I think we can have 32 meals total. We've only got 12, and we can definitely make more than that. So we're going to have to make a steel thing, make some jerk meats, and this will actually be, I mean, it's a little painful, but it'll actually be productive, all things considered. Except there's no steel. Now, with things as it is, and us being unable to make the jerk meats, there's only one logical solution. Just prioritize immediate cooking of 32 meals, and then leave. Ooh, a donkey got lit on fire, boys! I'm at 10 to the donkey! Holy, what the frick? What are the chances? What are the chances? Come back, little buddy, come back! 
Oh, never mind. We're good. Donkey's okay. He's just a little bit burned. He might get an infection and die. But nothing ever goes wrong. Don't worry about it. We're good. Here we go. Castle Ruins quest. Wombat, chief of the Purple Crow Barrow, has informed you about a nearby set of castle ruins. These ruins could contain valuable loot. Well, they're the total opposite direction, so no thank you. Well, we have actually ripped up basically every piece of everything on this map, and we have found literally nothing. And as soon as Kiyosuke's done the things, we're out of here. Ah! Prisoner Sisfum's resistance has been broken! In the cubby! In pain! I cannot wait to see Cinnamon. Cinnamon, can you, can you handle it? Everyone's relaxing socially. Yep, yep, yep. At this point, we're at the 32 meals. There's nothing else left to do. Let's uninstall this nonsense. And we're out of here. Not a bad little, uh, bad little raid. Got a whole bunch of decent stuff here. Not like super fantastic or whatever. Steel longsword masterwork. Yeah, great. Good. <laughs> super great. Well, let's come down here to the item stash. Since it's only three Rottweilers, we'll clean that up, go to the town, and then see where we stand in terms of money. Cloth basic dwarven shirt worn by Sisfum has deteriorated away to nothing, which is perfect, because I only wanted it to break her resistance, and now it's gone. She can remember who she is. Oh, what is this? Cinnamon's caravan is ambushed by a group of four denizens from Council of the Green Owl. They want the happy merchant that we spent a million dollars on. Good 75% worn by Ahmed. We will refuse, and this will lodge us into a fight. Now, there are four of them. And there's three of us. We have a naked Sisfim out here. I don't see how that could go wrong. We do have a donkey. We have Amit with the happy merchant. So that's good. Where did Kiyosuke's... Oh, did he drop his... No, his crossbow's right here. You dope, Kiyosuke. Put your crossbow in your hands. What on earth are you even doing? Okay. Well, zoomy zoomy into position. We only have to break two of them. Not a problem. Amit, you can come over here or two. Get ready. Let's see what we got. Oh, there they come from. Ooh. Council of the Green Owl, you say. Oh, Froggy over here has a crossbow. Two of them have melee, and Chas has a real bow. Cinnamon's already taking aim. Ooh, that didn't hit. Amit's got the shield belt, so I think we'll be okay. What we could probably do is actually charge right out there like maniacs if we really wanted to. Okay, what I would super like... As if Cinnamon could down Froggy. Amit, come over here and crash. Crash, Henriquez! Boo! Amit, that hammer! Left shoulder destroyed! Oh! Amit, go for Froggy. Go for Froggy, Amit! Come on, Kiyosuke. Oh, nice shooting. Nice shooting. Froggy's gonna shoot back at Kiyosuke. Oh! Nice, they missed. Amit's taking some shots over here from Chaz. Chin's trying to hit Amit. I don't care. Boom! My god, is this thing overpowered? Amit literally swung that hammer twice. And two things crashed. Wow. Rib cage, torso. Holy mother of goats, boys. Amit swing around and hit Chi. Kiyosuke and Cinnamon right up over here. Uh, attack on Chaz as he runs away. Okay, not quite. Come on, Amit. Can you, can you catch him? Can you catch him? Oh, Cinnamon got a shot over there. Okay, Amit's not going to be able to hit over there, but maybe on Chas. Thud! Oh my god. Three swings, three kills for Amit. He is not messing around anymore, boys. And look, we have Henriquez, who, if we wanted to, we're dwarves. What do we care about no Hunams? Why don't we enslave her and sell her to the local town? Which is inches away, right? Boy, there's a lot of food here, too, with all these deer. If I wanted to spend the time to butcher them up, but I, uh, is there steel on the map? Because if not, I can't make them into anything. Could maybe sell the meat, though. All right, well, at least hunt them. Uh, and let's see how Henriquez, six hours of death. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Let's try to capture her and go sell her. Uh, imprison, that's one of the mods I have that allows you to imprison people without having to build a house for them. I always thought this was exact scenario was kind of silly. So we can't capture her, but can we tend to her? Yes. Good, good, good. So she's now ours, and we can go sell her. What does she have for... Ooh, actually. Devil Strand Tailored Socks. Hmm. 
Fancy dog leather cloak? Yes, yeah, stripper boss! So you get for trying to kill us dwarves. You get nothing. Whoo, poor little naked Hedriquez. Hey, Cinnamon, you want to get Sisfam in the colony? Because right now it'd be a frigging amazing time. Come on, Cinnamon, we believe. We believe! Come on, boys, cross your fingers. Four dwarves. Four dwarves! Woo! Welcome, Sisrim. We'll give you a name. There's only one name befitting of Sisvim. The veritable... Sis... Honk. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, Mrs. Honk is the name. Thank you very much to Mrs. Honk. The fourth dwarven warrior. Oh, this is beautiful. I believe I could actually cheese the game by putting gear on her in a second, but I don't see the reason to do that so much. I'd kind of... Ooh, ducks! Do we want to just go before our things get out of control? I think I do for once. Let's not hunt anything. Let's just toodle froodle, Mr. Friend, and we're out of here. Take all these random berries. Don't need their corpses. A geese on them, worth quite a bit. Look at this, guys. Longbow, crossbows. All manner of shirts and clothing that are actually worth a pretty penny. Heck yeah. Wow, 230 for that elephant leather tunic. Crazy. Okay, that's everything that's actually worth anything. What a good. All right, well, off to the actual item stash. Now, while we're out here, let's confirm. I've wondered this for a long time. Can I put this on? Yes, you can. So that's a way to get around the mod and equip things. Uh, not sure how I feel about that, but it looks like I'm already doing it. So what on earth should we do with Mrs. Honk? Should Mrs. Honk take the legendary... Masterwork Steel Longsword. I think so. It's the second best weapon we have. It's very aggressive. I don't think we need the shield whatsoever. Maybe a tunic? I don't know. Sure. Suspended trousers? It's not bad in the slightest. Dog leather cloak even goes on. That's crazy. Oh, it actually kicks off. No, it doesn't kick off the trousers. Where did the tailored socks go? They, they're gone. I thought we stripped those. Hmm. Maybe I didn't bring them. Oh, well. Anyway, this is none too bad. Let's make sure we're all equipped on uh, gear and whatnot. We got four dwarves, boys. This is the episode where progress done gets made. We did lose one Rottweiler, though. Now, caravan has arrived at the stash. There's three man-hunting hoopy doopies. What do we care about no hoopy doopies, right? There they are. If there's anything, if there's anything these dwarves can do, it's murder Rottweilers. Uh, let's crash the animals, boys. We know you want to. Literally nothing else you ever do. <laughs> on it. Four swings. Actually, I think he missed that one. Never mind. There we go. Defeated all enemies. Let's zoom, zoom. We could butcher these hounds up. I, I wish I could... S Actually, can Mrs. Honk... Mrs. Honk can research thinking about it now. Because our dwarves were unable to craft or research. Uh, Mrs. Honk can do... A little bit of crafting and a little bit of... I mean, probably not much. Yeah, let's have Amit come out here and explore the situation. There's an item stash. Possibly look around. I don't know if these little maps spawn any resources. I haven't seen one yet. What do we got? Boom! Ah, Devil Strand Fur Line Dwarven Hat. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. Here's our Cherrywood Manager. Here's our silver medieval stool, and there is our ebony classic table masterwork. We'll see what amongst these things we can even carry. I'm not very optimistic, to be honest. Okay, there's a little bit of work we could do here, but let's just butcher up and toodle. Plus, it's uh, we'll wait till the morning anyway, because we can't move at nighttime. Let's actually see if Kiyosuke can redeem himself by rescuing the Rottweiler. I want to see if he can do it. There's a small chance of self-taming. Oh, what? what? Nope, never mind. <laughs> Rob Isle is gone. <laughs> that was fast. Uh, wait, what did I actually see there about joining the colony? Cinnamon attempted to hold Mrs. Honk still. Mrs. Honk has accepted and joined Cinnamon's community. That's all it takes, boys. Amit has gone catatonic. <laughs> Yes, that's all it takes to get a dwarf to join the colony. If you can hold that dwarf still for one second, a dwarf will join your colony. <laughs> that's amazing. 
Hmm. All right. So, sadistic rage, Mrs. Honk. Oh, God, no, boys. She's going to vent her anger on the prisoners. No, she's not, because we're out of here, I hope. I hope. Can we just cheese this so that she can't hit the prisoners? We can go sell the prisoner. <laughs> so much cheese going on in this campaign. Ah, uh, here we go. Eight? Wow. That cherry wood bandage is eight kilograms? Hmm. Silver stool's only three? Amazing. The table's only ten? Wow. I didn't expect that. Okay. We'll grab the wood, too. Do I want the ebony wood? No. Um, it's hammer. It was worth 16,600. I almost left it on the ground. Let's not do that. And you know what? Uh, actually, a passive... Well, the problem with the passive cooler is it weighs 45 kilograms for a box of wood. Amazing how a classic table made out of, like, stone is... Uh, 10 kilograms, but a piece of wood cooler? 45. Makes no sense. Let's accept. Thank God, no more sadistic rage, Mrs. Honk. We tricked you. God, Mrs. Honk, just absolutely a maniac. By the way, I have to open this up for the first time ever. Woo, Cinnamon's Days. I'm um, its catatonic. Mrs. Honk is beaten on prisoners. <laughs> 3.9 days of food. Come on, guys. Oh, let's go trade with these guys. Meruwitra keep. Ah, 313 they'll pay for Henriquez. I'm curious now. In theory, a depressive psychopath is not something I want in the colony. So I've never actually sold someone into slavery, but I've also never been hardcore dwarves who just want gold who happen to have human prisoners. So, yoink! Wait, is that the wrong button? Oh, that's lowering our total carrying capacity, I see. Saw so all this meat because we're not gonna be able to do anything with it. Sheep, skin, 152 dog leather, hell yes. Plains leather, wolf skin. Don't really need the wood, we can always grab more later. Geese arm, I don't think we really need. Keep the shields because those are always important. Longbow, double crossbow is normal because we have the good one. Steel plates, we're not gonna use it. Beautiful. And the toque, 1154, not bad. I probably should have given Cinnamon the negotiation thing instead of Amit, but alas. Before we did this, it's not worth it to me. Actually, it is worth it. 1154, negotiator Mrs. Honk. Now that's something I did not realize. That's because Cinnamon's on a mental break. Social of a seven. What is Cinnamon's social? Five, Mrs. Honk's actually the best one here. Well, this solves a lot of problems, so Amit can drop the Happy Merchant onto Mrs. Honk, who now has a shield belt. They're both a melee. Amit typically should have the shield anyway, and Mrs. Honk will have the shield belt. Uh, and, and that increases negotiation skill. So I'll just redo this and sell everything. Well, not much more. 1160. I mean, that's, yeah, so great. What do we get? 29 extra dollars for buying a $8,000 negotiation trinket. <laughs> It'll pay for itself, boys. Just give it 400 years. They actually have the same gear as before, including the Thunderer Rifle Pour, but you know what? That Thunderer Rifle Pour is still better than what we have. We'll buy a second shield as well. The normal heaters seem to be the best ones at 307. Beautiful. Let's go all in here. Let's sell a couple of, like, that one herbal man. This crossbow good is just not necessary now that we have the Thunderer Rifle. Boom. This will give us enough money to pick up one of the llamas. We'll go for the younger one. Boom! Fantastic. That's the trade. Days of food, 4.1. We are off into the wilderness, boys. Is this a happy town or a friendly town? Looks like a friendly one. Let's go there and just see what they have on the way. One of the caravan members has a mental break. Hmm. Kiyosuke's on a mental break. Cinnamon's on a mental break. And so is Amit. Kiyosuke's going berserk, but not a big deal. I like how the llama was instantaneously starving. It's like they didn't feed it before they gave it to us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Another item stash quest. Why do I keep getting these? Holy. Two mega sloth wool parkas masterwork and a golden royal bed. Fit for a dwarven king. Okay. I see you want me to go this way, game. Let's go that way. By the way, that's not a bad place, I think, to set up on our next base. Do a little diggy dig. Lamet's no longer incapable of walking. Let's give him his hammer. Before he forgets about it, the Thunderer rifle will go to Kiyosuke. Fantastic. Just beautiful, beautiful upgrades all around. There's a food point five. And wouldn't you know, 
We're settled in. Caravan has found man-hunting animals of some sort from what I read. Not too worried about that, because as you guys... Ah, uh, it's cats. Okay. Norwegian forest cat? I don't want to kill it. Look at him. We're going to have to slaughter them all, though, unfortunately. Oh, this is no good. Whoa, poor kitten. Look at the kittens, boys. Someone did such a good job drawing that. Oh, we just put a bullet right through it. Sad. Man, oh, man, I did cats. Why? Um, it killed it. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> These item quests. It's like, hey, do you want 50 million gold? Oh, it's a polar bear. Anyway, yeah, the item quests are like, do you want 50 million gold to kill one cat? Voila. Well, here we are. So, we now have two Mega Sloth wool- We're making more money just picking up random things that cats are guarding than we actually ever did mining. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I actually want to hunt that polar bear so we have the meat really quick. Let's do a quick boom boom. Thank you guys. Whoo! This is a nice little house, actually. I wouldn't mind settling here. 18 days until we leave. The problem is, I don't know if anything spawns in this map. We could quote-unquote settle immediately here. And there's even a passive cooler that we could bring with us if we wanted it. Hmm. Let's set up a temporary camp here to just forward the interim and see how... See what uh, the mining situation looks like. Hmm. Donkeys for days. Tons of free meat right there. This is steel now as well, so we could make a million. This is it, boys. This is our comeback. Oh, God. Kiyosuke's throwing a tantrum. He's going after the Golden Master Royal Workbed. Why did I think anything but this would happen? I think Mrs. Honk can come in here and probably repair it faster than he can destroy it. Let's see. 38. 38. Oh, what a dope. You can't beat that bad, Kiyosuke. That was like a, a brace to see if Mrs. Honk will go on a mental break before Kiyosuke gives up. Riveting. Well, boys, it's several hours later. And the bed is actually getting repaired faster than Kiyosuke is breaking it. However, Kiyosuke has failed to break the bed. Mrs. Hawk is currently doing okay. Well, boys, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. The alpaca seems to be sleeping through the madness and mayhem with no problem. The sun has peaked over the hills and is setting... Or shining lights in the early morning hours. As of yet, bed not repaired, but also not broken. Kiyosuke has given up! At 9 in the morning, Mrs. Honk, thank you for 16 consecutive hours of bed repairs. Huzzah! We're not losing this one, boys. We are not losing this one, and Kiyosuke submits. Laying down next to the golden royal bed. You know what, Kiyosuke? Because I can clearly see how much you want it. Here you go. Just for you. Your very own. Half of a golden royal masterwork bed. <laughs> Look at all of this. Like, spoils all around. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I don't think there's anything down here whatsoever. Ooh, that'd be boars, though. That'd be boars and bunnies. Yes, Kiyosuke is cleaning. Everything's taken care of. We're cranking out these meats. Looks like Mrs. Honk can cook. So we actually have three cooks. We can make three of these to speed this along, convert all these boars and donkeys into jerk meats, and we will settle up, I believe, on the exact same lands. Yeah, there we go, all three of you. By all means, hop on it. Woo, there's a lot of boars. There's a lot of boars out here. This is, we're going to settle in and be good for a long time to come. Now Mrs. Hawk wants to destroy the bed. Oh, God. All right, that's it, boys. I, oh, wow. I was not quick enough on this one. Uh, uninstall. 
Um, if you'd be so kind, prioritize quickly. Mrs. Honk is a demon. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. That was freaking fast, but hey. 525 gold. No wonder why she wanted to kill the bed. There was gold in it. Oh, it makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. I understand now. The dwarves just want gold. They ain't want no beds. Ah. We've revealed a new area. Well, isn't that fancy, Amit? If you'd hop on in and see what's in here. Oh, God. Amit's gone on a daze. He didn't want to go in. He's a miner, not an explorer. Cinnamon's also on an insulting spree right now. This is not fantastic. Mrs. Honk, evasive maneuvers. Avoid the cinnamon. Let Kiyosuke take the brunt of it. What do we got out here? Oh, look at this little place. There's literally nothing out here, but it's kind of fancy, huh? All right, we're just going to finish making these meats and we're out. Okay, that is good enough. I just can't seem to find any minerals at these places, so here's what we do. Let's go to the world map. Let us actually settle here. Voila. Now, if we go back in and we look at the map... Oh, I thought what would happen is not that we would literally settle here. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's funny, right? Let's form the caravan. We'll pack everything up, leave, and then we'll come back. And we'll get a real map, not the tiny adventure map. And finally, we are in to an all new map. Thank the Lord. I just messed with this for like 30 minutes. That's why there's an abandoned cinema here. Uh, caravanning in this game sometimes. Anywho's, we're here. And that is a fantastic place to end the episode. We got an Ibex Ram, we got an alpaca, we got a donkey. I did manage to keep the Ebony Classic Masterwork table. We have Masterwork Parkas. I don't even know what a Cherrywood Manager is. I guess it's some kind of shelf. Um, pretty sure, actually, yes, that's what it is. We've got an unbelievable amount of food, but I can see here the Apaka and the Ibex and the Donkey are all going to eat it almost immediately. I want to, like, end the episode, but I have to do this before I forget. Boom. You guys get out of there right now. Stop eating the jerked meats. We are settling with 78 jerked meats. We have 40 medicines at a minimum. We have uh, tons of gold. We got uh, clothes, armor, gear, weapons, new things, a whole new world to explore. This time we'll make a slightly better base, I think. Uh, not, 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 not much better, just a little bit bigger. A couple of rooms. And we'll explore the map and get rich at long last. And maybe this time the doofy dwarves will remember to bring the Gromwell back with them <laughs> instead of leaving it in the mines. But they're doofy dwarves, boys. They're doofy dwarves. They see Gromwell, they get excited. Then they forget they saw it. And then they're like, oh, let's go find more Gromwell. They're all about finding it. Not necessarily doing the right thing once they find it. But anyways, until the next episode. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Okay, what I would super like is if Cinnamon could down Froggy. Amit, come over here and crash. Crash, Henriquez! Boo! Amit, that hammer! Left shoulder destroyed!